you have to do and so much of the, the drilling and it looks like crap. I don't like it, it looks tacky. And so one of the things we were making was uh, one of these, uh, it was like a lap tray, that desktop, and I agreed for a principal. So you sit in your lap, you got it just like at a desk at, at school. So I got thinking, why couldn't I use, do the same principle, but you do it on a board and you route out these grooves all the way around the board and you could put your marbles on that for storing it and then drill your holes all on this one board instead of all this piecemeal and gluing stuff. So we made those out of pine shelving, 12 inch wide pine shelving, so like we buy like eight foot lengths of 12 inch pine which shelling, is one by? which is, yeah, one mm -hmm. by, and we made them out of that for a while, but if the craft shows when you're out in the sun, uh, they would cup on you, depending on where the, the cut of the wood came from, oh. it was, you know, how it gets hot, the and, get hot yes, and, yeah. uh, and it, it'll cup it, so we thought, well, this is not good, we got to have something better than this. Mm -hmm. And we started making them out of hardwood. We used to get hardwood up at uh, Tenaga. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we'd run cherry and we'd maple, run it through the planer. And oh. Oh, yeah. Wow. And it, yeah, that's the sassafras. Silver part. Maple. Yeah. Oh, sassafras. I thought that would be great. Mm -hmm. It wasn't. It was, oh, what a strange, smelly wood. So. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it was always a work in progress. Uh -huh. And then uh, we hit up on the, the cabinet grade uh, stuff that had an MDF core. Well, of course, we did variable core, which was wood. like seven ply plywood, mm -hmm. except it had a, a, a birch veneer mm -hmm. on the top. And then we went to lunch with the Blue Ridge Mountain place in LJ. Yeah. And they did a like you do. It's like, like a fiber boarding that put a foil covering on it. So oh, it made it look oh, like wow. it was like walnut. It was really pretty. Yeah. And, and they and did everything. Yeah. Which was nice. Yes. Yeah. And all we did was silk screen the graphics on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we then we went to the cabinet grade. We uh, had uh, Goodlitzville, Tennessee family that made yeah. it. Mm -hmm. And their big CNC router, they put them through the machine and did them all. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. After all that drilling and everything they've done for years, and they come back. Went up there, and I, I watched the, the machine go. Mm -hmm. All they did was stand there and watch it, and then they take that board out and put another board in. And <laughs> I thought, good Lord. <laughs> How simple can it be, you know? And it was precise. Nothing left to, for mm -hmm. eye work, you know. And nothing needed sanding. Well, yeah. I mean, that, well, I didn't have to sand it. They yeah. sanded it. The holes. And they also did the grooves. We still yeah. had the grooves at that stage. Yeah, and I hated those grooves. <laughs> Here's why she hated them. <laughs> <laughs> because little kids would come up to the table, and the first thing they would see is a row of marbles. And, and start doing the marbles around the grooves. And she would you could just see and it. I, and I, I just want to... <laughs> and she did a number of times. Yeah. So the reason there are no grooves on the board is for that. <laughs> yeah, took those off. And they were painting the patoot to sand. Yeah. You, know, you, you don't realize how much hand sanding things take until you make them. Oh, right. right. I bet. You so, got a special tool that you that was grooved just like that, so you run it across with your uh, yeah. sandpaper. So yeah. it fit perfectly in it. But it was all by hand. So that was a pain. Mm -hmm. So then I decided we need to get rid of those grooves. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. <laughs> no more grooves. Mm -hmm. So we got rid of the grooves and we went to marble trays. Mm -hmm. And I liked the marble trays. And then we started doing inserts and game boxes. So all of it's just been an evolved process. Trial and error. Yeah. 